So when shooting YouTube videos, it's really nice to have a flip out screen so that you can monitor yourself and make adjustments. But what happens if your camera doesn't have a flip out screen or if you actually are shooting further away? Well, you can always invest in an expensive external monitor, but not everyone has the money to do that. So in this video, I wanna talk about my favorite cheap monitor for DSLR and mirrorless cameras, which is actually free. And that is using your smartphone or a laptop with software to create a monitor for your videos. I'm gonna reveal how to do it and more coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tech gear reviews as well as tips and strategy videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So a lot of us when creating YouTube videos, we shoot by ourselves, right? So whether we're at home or at an office, it's really nice to have a camera that has a flip out monitor so that when you're shooting, you can monitor yourself, maybe adjust some settings, but you run into a couple situations um, that can be problematic. Number one, maybe your camera doesn't have a flip out screen. So now you have to get everything right, start the recording, run in front of the camera, and then it's kind of a guessing game, or it does, but maybe you're shooting kind of far away from the camera camera. Right now, I'm about five, six feet away from it. So even having a monitor wouldn't help me very much. And additionally, it's also nice if you can adjust the controls without having to be behind the camera. Because if it's in this case, I'd have to run back, adjust the controls, run back over here, adjust the controls. And so that's why having an external monitor is really nice, but they can cost a lot of money. They range from a couple hundred dollars to hundreds of dollars. And so in this video, I wanted to talk about a free way to create an external monitor. Monitor. And initially that is downloading the app for your camera. So right now we're actually shooting on a Sony uh, A7R2 and this is the Sony Playing Memories app. And I'm able to start and stop the recording on here as well as see the entire shot composition right here on my phone. Now the different apps vary depending on the camera model. There's a Panasonic one, it's called the Panasonic Image app. And the Canon one is called the Canon uh, Camera Connect connect and different ones do different things. In the Sony one, I don't think we can adjust the controls here, but we can start and stop recording. So that's nice. You can make sure the camera's still running. You can see your whole shot composition. But on the Canon app, you can change the shutter speed, the ISO. So even if you want to dial in the exact picture and image settings, you can do that on the app. Okay, and so the two things that you want to check to see if you can do this with your setup is, is your camera a new enough model to have Wi-Fi and app compatibility? And does your camera manufacturer actually have an app for your camera? We know Canon, Panasonic, Sony's good, and I'm sure some of the other brands have it covered as well. Additionally, there's some other cool things that you can do with the mobile app for your camera. I mean, if you're ever taking a group photo and you set your camera up, instead of using the timer, you can just use your phone as a remote shutter. Of course, you can start and stop recording if you wanna do video clips, but it's also great for just transferring files. A lot of the newer cameras allow you to transfer, transfer video and photos over Wi-Fi, and we like to do this a lot on the road. If we wanna take nicer photos for Instagram or whatnot, we can just grab them to our phones really quickly and then share them online. So using an app is a super good solution. However, there is another solution that might work for you as well, and that is using your laptop and software. And so the only way that I've ever tested this is with the Canon EOS utility, but this is another great way to be able to create a monitor as well as adjust your settings. And so here's all you have to do to set it up, is you grab your USB cable and you can just plug it into your camera. This is a Canon 70D picked it up right away there on my camera and it opens up the EOS utility app. Then I can go to my camera settings and remote uh, shooting and go to my live view mode and there it is. It's activating the camera now. One um, tool or tip that I'm using here is a USB extension cable. That's just USB um, about, I think it's 10 feet long because this little black cable is not very long and now I can use this camera uh, and, and operate it remotely here. So if I was to use this as the main shooter here, then I can not only see my shot, but I can make all kinds of adjustments to it, even down to the frame rate and the white balance and a lot of things. And so if you were gonna be batch producing content yourself, you got your whole studio set up just like this, then this is a great way. You could have even your notes here on, say your computer, your laptop, and you can also make sure you have your adjusted uh, 
adjustments and settings all controlled through the U EOS utility. So either a software solution or a mobile phone, smartphone app solution, two really great ways to have the best monitor for cheap, actually free, right? If you already have that stuff around to be able to start leveling up your videos because you have more control and better vision of the content you're creating. Okay, so I hope that these tips were helpful. And as usual, I will post links to the EOS download and other information, the app downloads in the YouTube description below. So definitely check those out. Question of the day, have you ever used these software or these apps before on your phone for a monitor, for remote shooting, anything like that? Definitely share your tips with the Think Media community in the comment section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna check out our best budget gear for YouTube series, just click or tap the screen right there. If you wanna see another Think Media video, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.